wear it when you uh, play? Of course I wear it. Alright, I was about to I say, that's see. like good luck I right there. To, that's, that's, a, that's a massive good luck. Is this Winner's Quarters? This is interesting. Wait, so, it right looks next. like we're deciding between Battlefield and Yoshi's. I wonder how this striked out. I'm interested. Because I don't, I don't really know what... Uh, Battlefield. Okay, yep. No, I like that. When in doubt, Battlefield. That's that's my motto. Was that a uh, that was Mad R's pick, right? Oh, uh, I couldn't tell. Because I was gonna say that's a uh, this is not really a very good match or a very good stage for Duck because his title recovery might get true. a little screwed up because of Battlefield. No, nope, that's true. That's why Link and Young Link probably would rather not go to Battlefield. All right. Already, already, I like the way that Madar is playing, because he he was he's not pushing in too much. You know, he's kind of treating uh, he's treating Samus, uh, you know, as a floaty, which is you know, in principle correct. You know, you don't want to overextend on your combos or anything like that. You want to get your hits here and there. I like that. I like that. Good back off from Madar. You know, you're not really going to get much trying to edge guard Samus, so. Might as well just go to center and try and see if you can apply the corner pressure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's missing the grab. Both of them applying a little bit of shield pressure there. The up tilt's gonna start something, but Madar actually dash attacks, breaks it all up. Falling there, that was a really good option to set him off stage. Good, that was a nice power shield right there. All right, taking it clean, 39%. Look at the work too. That's 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 one of the tricks here with Samus. You know, you got to work up to a very high percent in order to grab the KO, unless you got some magic edge guard skills. Yeah, playing against the Samus is like a, I'm sure it's like an obstacle course. You got, mm -hmm. you got the, you got the Z, you got the, you got the projectiles. Mm -hmm. You just got Samus. You know, it's, it's crazy. There's a yep. lot. There's a lot you have to be looking out for. Oh, that was unfortunate. Wow. All right. Going for ledge. Okay, so still slow and careful. I like Madar. Madar trying to maintain stage control here. I like that reaction there. He really he could have reacted to just about any option that uh that duck had there from that position. Good on Madar right now. Staying patient. Mm -hmm. Waiting until he gets back on stage, not really doing anything too risky. Yep. Because that could happen. Yep. And you know, and he's actually lucky that he didn't really connect on anything else. It was just that. Ooh, good tech. I don't even know what happened there. That was fast. Yeah, that was that was really good tech actually. But yeah, again, look, we got 20, 29 now, 142. Like, you know, Madar is really taking the slow and considered approach here. Oh, the chain. Good bear. I, I honestly thought that he was uh, he was gonna end up dying for that blunder. Seriously. I guess that's what we call the sheet tax. <laughs> the random chains at times. You know. I know when I get that, I always just say I meant to do it. Dude, Fox probably exists in like the if there were like tax brackets for like characters, Fox is definitely like he's in the the top tax bracket. Definitely. Yeah. Bad heart. The, that was a such a good recovery. Transforming no to Zelda, like transforming ah. back, not really getting anything off, um, the off time, of that effort, the, though. The time per convert. All right, all right, keeping it even. I like it. Man. Think of that though. Think of the, look at the work that uh, Matt R had to do to work uh, Duck up to you know 100 and some odd percent, and uh, that took a long time. But Duck just needed a few openings, just like a few seconds worth of work, and he just like he clinched off the stock. Yeah, definitely. But. I mean, in all honesty, Duck is really good against Sheiks. Oh, sure. He's got a uh, um, uh, beach, son of a beach, to practice with in Michigan. He's, he's got a beach. He has Kels. Every time Kels comes by, he comes by to turn over here. Mm -hmm. You know, every time, you know, Jet 3, I believe. Uh, Duck was the reason why, you know, Kels got ninth. Really? Think. Yeah, Kels got ninth in that tournament. Duck showed up in that tournament. Dude, Doug is Doug is incredible. He is really an exceptional player. He really is. That's the thing with that spot. You know, with Samus, you, you can't really connect on anything else. You know, that that fair was really nice. See this right here. That highlight. That that right there. The down throw into uh, fair, and uh, 
Sam has still survived. Oh, that sucks. But that right there highlights the difficulty in the matchup with anyone really against Samus. You know, you rack her up to like 120%. You you send her far off stage with like this excellent hit, but with just a little bit of DI, Samus can make it back. The with the, uh, the bomb recovery and then the uh, the um, the grapple hook. It's it's insane. So for those Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got Duck and Matt R in game two. Duck narrowly getting game one going. See if he Good can crouch get cancel. Two Excellent crouch cancel right there for Duck. Ooh. That's fair. I like that. I like that idea from Duck. You know, at, at low percent, you know, not a whole lot's gonna happen to him if he uh, whiffs on that uh, that no. grab. If you're able to send him uh, off stage at that percentage, I mean, by all means. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a it's a decent uh, risk to take. That's why down smash. He's doing very liberal liberal on these down smashes. Mm -hmm. So he's staying at the ledge, just baiting Duck out. But Duck has these projectiles, he's able to send him off, and Matt R is not really doing a lot of, uh, a lot for it. What I want to see uh, Matt R do is maybe possibly cancel the projectiles with needles. That's possible, but I think it's particularly tough because um, the needles, they, they cover pretty low to the ground, and the projectiles from Samus go pretty high. Oh yeah, absolutely, but... You know, it's, it's needles, a good idea. Though. Falling needles cover a really wide area. So, oh no! Gets him with a fully charged charge shot. Honestly, what I would enjoy seeing from Medar is the uh, the first two stocks of game one. You know, he was very patient, very considered in his uh, his approaches, and uh, he knew when to back off, which I think is the most important part here. He he knew when to just like back off. You know, maybe reset to a bit of a better position. Um, that's that's what nice. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Man, are trying to oh, slow down no. the game right now. Oh, total <laughs> whiff. That was Not a good way to do it. Dreadful. All right. This is this is an uphill battle. I can't miss that. Okay, so Madar. I appreciate the light shield right there. I like Madar's that. really not gonna get on in center stage because Samus has Jeez, these trades. with all the projectiles. She's gonna stay on ledge and try to see if she can bait out a, a couple aerials. Uh, she's able to get a grab. Uh, she definitely will do that. Madar's taking it very slowly right now. Oh man, that chest nice. shot. He got, he got hit with all of that. Oh, that was my stage. Not able to do anything else. I think I saw an up smash in the works right there. But Duck oh, it up. that was so close. I'm pretty sure Duck had read that. This, this, this is probably it. Oh, the, oh man. Good spot dodge. Man, I'm recovering from the wall Yikes. of missiles that Damn. gets him off screen. My goodness. That'll kill him. Looking like Battleship over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Sending them.